Hey guys, one second. Okay, I'm gonna just wait a minute to see if you guys, I'm alive and I just wanna wait a minute to get people here. Um, there's been a lot that's been going on on Facebook. We've got quite the story to unpack and I wanna just make sure that I get people here because I have a statement that I wanna make and then I want to move forward with this live stream. So um, I'm gonna give you guys some time to get here. I hope everyone's having a good night. Slow mode is when you slow down the chat. So that's what we have right now. I'm just gonna wait for a minute. There was a lot of people waiting and then I don't know where everyone went, but I'm going to wait. Hey everyone, hi Jody. Uh oh, what happened here? I need to get back in here. All right, I'm gonna just wait. I'm still waiting for you guys to get here. Okay. How is everyone? Is everyone having a good night? I'm trying to wait. I know this is like my, yeah, I can turn the slow mode off. I've just been trying to, I was just live not too long ago. So I'm trying to make sure that I can turn slow mode off because we're not in members only. And I will share this again on Twitter. I just want to get some people here before I get started, because I don't want to have to repeat this more than once. And then I want to move on. How is everyone tonight? Is everyone having a good night? Has anyone seen the story that we're going to cover tonight? Has anyone seen the story? It's Jason Collier. Has anyone seen the story? Has anyone? It's all over Facebook. All over Facebook. Trying to get people here. You've not seen it. You don't think so. No, you have no idea who this person is. Well, this is a really fun story, wild story. You didn't see it. Wow, okay. I don't know where everyone is. You've been off social media, you've seen it. I'm trying to get, hey guys, you haven't been on Facebook in two years. Oh my goodness. You saw it on TikTok, says B. Leah. You came here for the tea. Wonderful. You're excited to hear about it. Awesome. You don't know what it is, though. It's a wild story that has sort of gripped hold of Facebook. And I'm not sure. Um, why I can't get anyone here. 
I don't know if it's because I've done so many videos today that my notifications aren't going out. You're excited to learn. Okay. Well, I still don't see a lot of people here and I don't know if my notifications are going out. Do me a favor, if you can share this video, give this video a like, help me get out into the algorithm. All right, so um, there has been a lot of information that's been going out today um, that is not true. And I have a statement that was approved um, by my team and it says the following, the recent allegations against me in the Natalie Kennett declaration are false. I did not harass anyone or ask anyone to harass Ms. Kennett, nor do I condone harassment of any kind, especially directed towards people with disabilities. We look forward to demonstrating this to the court and we want you to know that many of the screenshots have been altered or are completely false. Okay, so that's my statement and the filing will happen, I believe, tomorrow. Okay, so now anyone that knows me knows that I support people with disabilities. So I would for sure always want to make sure that everyone in all stories are respected and everyone in all stories are taken care of. So do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure that you um, flip this out a, flip out a, um, flip out a, um, yeah, absolutely. Don't, don't harass anyone. And I never asked anyone to harass her. Again, my statement is as follow. The recent allegations against me in the Natalie Kennett declaration are false, 100%. I did not harass nor ask anyone to harass Ms. Kennett, nor do I condone harassment of any kind, especially directed towards people with disabilities. We look forward to demonstrating this to the court. The screenshots are false. Okay. Yeah, it was a mess. Okay, the filing will go out tomorrow with evidence. Okay, so I will always, always say be kind to other people. My son is autistic. Obviously, I have a heart for this kind of stuff, so I will never condone that behavior. Okay, so um, moving forward, this story is about Jason Collier, who is a police chief or was a police chief in Texas. So this guy is currently all over the place because his girlfriends, um, thank you, Mallory. Okay, this story is all over Facebook. And I wanna show you what is going on. I'm buffering here, let me close some of these out. I think I've got too many things open right now. Okay. Trying to get some of this stuff closed out just so I don't have so many screens open. Okay, so Jason Collier, he is a police chief and he is in uh, Stenick County, Texas. He is actually viral right now. And the reason why he's viral is because his girlfriends have called him out and exposed him for being the philanderer that he is. So, Thank you guys, appreciate that. Thank you, Nadia, appreciate that. All right, so let me show you what is going on with him. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't be shy. And if you feel like donating and supporting the channel, obviously we have a lot going on. 
unfortunately, and we have lots of bills. So any help will be appreciated. So Jason is a police chief and he's on leave because actually he's been fired because his mistresses exposed him on Facebook. Um, I do, and I don't have any. So thank you. Goodbye. All right. So what I want to show you, we look forward. Again, my statement is the recent allegations against me in the Natalie Kedit declaration are false. I did not harass or ask anyone to harass Ms. Kennett, nor do I condone harassment of any kind, especially directed towards people with disabilities? We look forward to demonstrating this to the court. The screenshots have been altered or are manufactured or fabricated. Thank you. Okay. This is Mr. This is Mr. Mann. So this was Cicely and she actually posted this to the city. Thank you so much for your uh, super sticker. Thank you, RC, I appreciate your support. You don't have to take my word for it. You will find out in court. We look forward to demonstrating this to the court, which is really all that matters. Okay. So she says, Chief J Jason Collier is living a double life, triple life, that is. I was his girlfriend until yesterday. He lied to me and presented me with fake annulment documents when I found out he was married. I also found out a second girlfriend, about a second girlfriend last night named Christy. He has lied to us, our children, and has asked both of us to marry him. I actually spoke to a friend of Christy's. So check this out. This afternoon, shortly after I did my last live stream, um, I got a message from one of my subscribers and she said this, um, have you heard of the guy with all of the wives, Jason? Jason Collier, our cousin knows his one of his fiancés. Let me know if you want to know anything more about this. It's all over social media. And she said, he's been arrested, but it's all over everything. Our cousin knows the woman he was engaged to. Her name is Christy. She has five kids and she thought she was gonna marry him. She met him in, in December. She said, she has five kids and must live here in North Carolina. She told our cousin, that he had forged documents of annulment papers from his marriages. She said that Dr. Phil wants to interview Christy, but she's not going to due to COVID. And she said that she's a realtor. It's a mess. She thought she was going to marry him. And she said that <clears throat> all I know is her name, but the fact is he was married to many women and he forged fake documents. He visited today and told, she visited us, visited us today and told us all the story. She saw this guy every other week and they were making wedding plans. She may give you an interview and then she showed me how to get in touch with her. So I'm going to see if I can get in touch with Christy. Thank you, Jewel, for the super sticker. Zena, thank you. How do you guys get so many women to fall for this BS? I don't know. Oh, Kay Byers, thank you so much for the super stickers. I do appreciate any and all support. Obviously, it's been a very trying time for me on this channel and um, mounting bills and all these motions certainly don't make it any less expensive. But anyways, so she's the one that sort of made me start searching on Facebook. And then I found the post by Cicely and it here's her photos. This is his dating profile looking for friendship and more from there, looking for a hookup, sincere conversations, building trust and relationships first, looking forward to hearing from you. And then he recently did a shout out to his wife um, in September and he said, happy anniversary to my beautiful bride. I couldn't imagine doing this life without you. 
I know I fall short daily of being the godly husband, but I know I will work hard. Look at him being all godly. Why is it the men that are like the godly ones that do this stuff? I mean, why is it the guys that are like, that put the facade on that are always the ones that are doing this? He says, I will work hard to be the man you deserve. God has blessed me with you and I can't wait to see what all he has in the works for us. Thank you for loving me, sacrificing for us and walking this life beside me. I love you, Opal, sissy. And here's to many more years and memories to come. So this is his wife, Opal. He's totally busted. Here is the fake annulment that he presented to Sicily and to Christy to prove that he and Opal were not married, okay? Then another woman comes out of the woodwork and her name is Amanda. And she says, Jason has some explaining to do. I have a daughter with Jason and someone private messaged me with this post that I see has gone viral now. I would really like to know who his wife is considering that me and him are still married. So this woman, Amanda says, claims that she's married to him too. Thank you so much for your super sticker, Mallory. So this is a spreadsheet. <laughs> Of is what? Of so far of what we know. We know Cicely. She is the first woman to come forward. She posts a picture of her and her fiance that she found out that was married. Then there's Christy, who is the woman I told you about. The second woman to come forward. She met Jason in December and they've been um, seeing, after seeing Cicely's post, she was too engaged to Jason. Opal is his current wife, has not come forward. His first wife has not publicly come forward. Then there's Katie, who is currently involved with Jason and discovered the post Jason messaged when it was all starting to hit the fan and he was not in a good place to continue seeing her. Then there's Angie, a Facebook response to Cic in a Facebook uh, response to Cicely, she said that she dated him um, in 2007 then there was heather my jason through a dating met jason through a dating app there were we were dating from november until december of 2020 an, un, an unknown woman um says that jason came forward and stated that between 2005 and 2006 jason was allegedly caught cheating on wife with an 18 year old sarah tagged in comments as a possible fiance brianna posted screenshots of pictures and text messages between her and Jason and an unknown woman daughter came forward, but the woman has not yet come out publicly. So these are just a few of the women that have come out. Um, <laughs> yes, clearly monogamy does not work for him. Yes. Um, so here is a running list. Now there's all these Facebook groups. So a running list as of just a little bit ago, there's Candace, who is rumored and unconfirmed. There's ex-wife Amanda. There is a marriage license confirmed. There's current wife Opal, confirmed through pictures and videos. Cicely, original post that stated this. Christy, original post. Katie C in contact with Cicely and has told her she was number five. Angie, Facebook confirmed through photos and videos. Heather, Facebook confirmed through pictures and videos. Sarah, unconfirmed. Um, Tanana, unconfirmed friend posted about her and Christy was commenting. Brenna, did not date but was talking to him for a while. Um, Renee, confirmed through Sicily. Dawn came forward and said she is not involved. Amy, confirmed through photos and videos. Carissa charged, um, whoa, charged with uh, SA police officer with Jason and possible sexual relationship with Jason. Ave, unconfirmed, had a few posts and deactivated her Facebook. Heather, Lauren. So the list goes on and on. So it never ends. There are so many. Um, he's a megalomaniac. You heard that from me first. Do you know him, Kristen? Let me know. This guy is so busted. 
So Mandy, who is apparently his first wife, she actually posted and she said, I've tried really hard not to comment on all these pages. I'm his first wife and I'm the mother of his children. What has happened is wrong. I don't condone it at all, but I need everyone to understand that these pages and comments are hurting my children. There's people like making memes and like really um, being kind of brutal about it. She knows what happened is wrong. She's been hurt by what happened, but people are finding ways to contact my kids and Opal's kids, not cool. And they are being sent screenshots of stuff being posted. Not cool. Leave the kids alone. I'm asking that these pages and comments stop. Jason is having to face what he's done. And our kids, mine and Opal's, are trying to deal with this. They need to be kids. This is making things hard. So, yeah, if you are, like, trying to contact the kids, that is terrible. I hate how some people will literally go that far. So, Christy is the other girl. And that's the one that I got the message from. And she said... Um, his current girlfriend to Nana knows too, she's done with him. And she said, welcome her to the girlfriend fiance wife club. She is the most sweet, innocent Thai woman you would ever meet. I mean, how could he know that he could do this to her? Jason better freaking answer me. So another person came out and said this, my mother, Angie, was dating relation was in a dating relationship with him in 2007. He claimed his wife and mother of his three children um, was dead. He said he was he had a crazy ex ex girlfriend who turned out to be his wife Mandy, who is alive. My mother met his entire family. They did not say a word about his current wife or involvement with my mom. I believe he lived in Hereford, Texas, with his father and worked in the Friona police department. There's a couple small stories I vaguely remember of this guy and he gives the police officers a bad name. Then another story was, um, yep, he did the same thing. Didn't propose, but kept telling me he loved me, was talking about the future, moving away to Wyoming. He portrayed himself as a Christian man, would pray for our relationship and future. He had me thinking I had found Mr. Perfect. A friend of mine seen me fall hard and fast for this guy, decided to do some digging on him and found out many things and pointed to him still being married, called him out on it and sent me the same BS annulment papers. I finally got confirmation from his brother via Facebook that he's still married and had no clue he's doing the same damn thing to me. And then someone else said, yep, he did the same thing, didn't propose. Okay, um, then there was, whoops. So this is Cecily and she has, um, might want to make sure that mutual friends don't know your wife. If y'all see me catching feelings again, throw a brick at my head. I'll, sh I'll actually go to um, her post where a lot of these comments are because that one is actually a doozy. So um, let me show you her Facebook post. This is a mess. So, <laughs> Cicely published this and it has literally gone viral to the extent that um, it's been shared like 90,000 times. It's literally everywhere. He um, has resigned as a sheriff and he is like, if you go to Jason Collier on Facebook, let me just show you. It's literally, it's such a hot mess over here. Cecilia, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. Cecily, I don't know how to, Cecily, I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay. Okay, so here is, like, if you just search his name, there's tons and tons and tons of stuff here. There's him, there's him. This is the post. Um, the The city of Stinnett is aware of the current situation surrounding the police chief. The city is taking this seriously and will be looking into the violations. He was actually arrested too. So he was arrested for something about like tampering with a witness. And there's this Facebook group called um, Jason Collier, the Netflix series. Um, Jason Collier, the Netflix series. Now this is a public group. This is um, the woman and it says that she's been, he's been arrested as of this afternoon and has resigned. 
The charge is tampering with government documents and circumstances make it a state jail felony. So he created um, a fake annulment paper and claimed that it was, um, how, Cecily, 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 okay, Cecily, thank you. So Cecily says that um, it's he's been arrested, right? But if you go to her Facebook page, so this is like the post that gets it all started. It's been shared 91,000 times. And if you open it, you see she and Christy meet on this thread. <laughs> it's wild so like here's the fake annulment that he signed and claimed was filed so he completely forged this and then here you see um there's the photo she shared of him to his wife and christy schaefer shows up so where did she come from The glass was still in my front yard. So here they're talking about this. Here they start talking about that was the weekend of the 16th. So they start talking and figuring things out like between the two of them. So it says Christy Schaefer, unbelievable. Yeah, we were still in our room in towels when he sent you the first text. And she says, um, wait, his brother is disabled. Nope, we were in Wichita. He broke his window at my house and we went to get it fixed. And then she says, yes, he says he's nearly paralyzed due to Chiari malformation, which he told me he has too. And it was discovered after his stroke in June. And he's, she said he mentioned helping his brother on Sunday. And she said, oh, wow. He told me that his son shut the door and broke the window. And she, he's, she said, my son did. The glass is still in my front yard. He told me his son and that it happened when he dropped him back off with his mom. Then he told me about his cold drive back to Borg or Borger. And she says, nope, happened on Thursday night. He and I ta taped it and hung out all evening. He's such a liar. Then Friday, we drove one and a half hours to Wichita and hung out all day. He told me he was getting the window fixed in Borger that day. Like, imagine you're like, you post this and one of his girlfriends just shows up and starts like talking to you about this. Like there's his photo that he has apparently on his desk. And then she shares this video. Sorry, it was, I just feel like the biggest piece of shit. Sorry. Mean to hide anything, lie to you. Sorry. So sorry. Please, this is 421. What you're reporting this. want you to forgive me. I'm sorry. So look at those fake tears. And he's like, he has dead eyes. I don't like it. She's like, love the sniffling fake crying at it in. Chrissy says, I have a ton of Marco Polo, uh, not even worth uploading since it's all lies. She said, I have Marco Polo videos just like these as well. Can't share them. <laughs> um, she says, this one's from Wednesday. Good morning, babe. I know you're probably taking the kids to school and everything. Just wanted to send you a video and say good morning. Hope you're having a good day so far. Just thinking about you, missing you, and can't wait to see you. So have a good day. Holler at me here a little bit, okay? Love you. He said, he said, here he was on his way to testify at a parole hearing in Kansas when he actually was on his way to see you. I just, I just got to say, you are absolutely beautiful, man. So, uh, 
you're done with your meetings, holler at me or text me, call me, whatever. You know, I can chat with you. So, anyway, I'll, just, I'll torture you with a sunglass pink mail. So. And she says, no, it wasn't true. And she says, so he didn't work at the Nashville bombing? Wait, no, that was December 26th. Wait, he told me he was there also. No, he was with me that week. She said he claims he has a side job with the government going to riots and national emergencies. Does he not? Oh, he told me he had to be so exhausted. I have to wonder, it may just be a cover to have a reason to go out of town often. I was wondering, or to bounce between us two beauties. I'd say... <laughs> I mean, he blew you off this weekend and told you he was on assignment in Portland when he was really in Taos with me. He is always tired. No wonder he's sick and struggling, self-induced stress. He told me he turned it down first. He said he changed his mind later. He claims to work his this position outside of his official duties as chief. I thought it odd, but cons also considering how small they are, didn't question it. I guess my flowers from January 6th for the anniversary of the shooting were still on his desk. And she said, I was in his office a few days ago and there were no flowers in there. <laughs> Probably stashed them. Anyways, I really don't really care. I'm stronger than this and we both deserve better. So like imagine like you are just sharing he told me his plan was to move to Amarillo from Borger with me, get married, retire in December, and then do the other job full time. He was even planning out where he could put his desk in my house close to mine since I work from home. She said, well, supposedly he's in the running for a position in Gillette, Wyoming. I was in contact with realtors and he and I had looked at what homes we wanted since I have five kids. He has two and we'd have me much closer to my parents. But then suddenly he was offered a position making $230,000 in Louisiana. And he thinks his ex meaning current wife, not first wife, put in a good word for him and he would manage private contracting or training in New Orleans. So he's planning to build a barn demonium together. So he thought he was so slick with the fake annulment. Now he's lost his job and is and he's Facebook famous, right? It's like, <laughs> imagine you are just hanging out and you guys are comparing stories. He was so worried about my ex-husband stealing me away from him. I told him over and over that it is not the case. He just he was just sure he'd see us happy and try to take me. I said, no way, never. We are not that way. We are over. Funny now, it turns out he's the one doing all the lying. They always do this. She says, so anyway, I hope this serves as a warning to anyone that he's lying and manipulating. It's just... The police chief needs to resign and he did resign and he was arrested. So all over, all over Facebook and it's all over, um, I already said a statement, Kitty. I made a statement in the beginning, I said the recent allegations against me in the Natalie Kennett declaration are false. I did not harass or ask anyone to harass Ms. Kennett, nor do I condone harassment of any kind, especially directed towards people with disabilities. We look forward to demonstrating this to the court. The screenshots are fabricated. Thank you. I know it's wild that they figured this out on all out on Facebook. I've compared the stories with other women before. I've been cheated on sex, and I also feel bad for these women. I've been on the I've been on with manipulous um, narcissists like him before. Sadly, they lie and deny, for sure. No one believes me. That's why they're asking. Well, it doesn't matter because honestly. Yes, we have proof for everything.
You're glad the women exposed him. Me too. So now he has lost his job and he is, there are so many women. It's unbelievable. Like, how do you think this guy thought he was going to keep this going? Todd is actually putting my son, my, Todd is laying with my son right now, with our son right now. Screenshots can be fabricated. There will be a filing tomorrow. Thank you. There's lots more to come, y'all. So what do you guys think about all of this? Do you think like um, this would be, like, do you think he thought he was going to be able to get away with this? Do you think he thought that he was just going to be like, oh, in the Facebook groups? Oh, I should show you the Facebook groups. There are memes. People are like running with this. I swear this is like, I was telling people, I'm mean, like, this is the next, like, um, you stand with, you know, it's the next fire. It's like the next Tiger King almost. So let me show you the Facebook group. Proof of act accusations of women coming forward goes here all in one place, easy to access. So this woman says, same damn thing, didn't propose, but kept telling me he loved me, he was talking me about my future, moving to Wyoming. He portrayed himself as a Christian man. He had me thinking I found Mr. Perfect. Um, to my friends and family, we are okay. We are more than okay. We are blessed and preserved. God is good and so very redemptive. I've been able to see this in a different life as a sort of life lesson, the publicity will be used by me for the good and for others suffering from narcissism or affected by other mental health disorders. This pandemic has affected us all mentally and I wish I, that could be Jason's excuse, but truly it's also sin. I've received copies from random strangers of crazy messages posted about me by someone connected to my family in regards to my children. These strangers called them on the BS, defended me and this person eventually retracted the vile libel. This person posting about me appears to have some, has been attempting to financially profit from my children's pain. God is merciful and he leads us away from sin. I'll say this, I forgive them just I've for, just as I've forgiven Jason. No, I don't trust them and no, I won't be a doormat. But for me in my heart, I choose forgiveness anytime. We shall all stand on judgment day. So she's going to forgive him. Um, we've got... Mandy, the first wife who made that post. You've got um, Robin, marriage license are public record. I found proof of a marriage to Amanda. I cannot find a divorce record and I cannot find a marriage license to Opal, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. Um, the, there is a document that officially confirms o Opal's marriage to Jason. Brenna sent these screenshots, which said, I'm going to be in Lubbock Thursday night. I wish I could be this weekend, but I have my kids. Well, boo, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'll get them starting Thursday evening. Where are you at? Did you make my number eight or 10? Just curious. So he was chatting with her. More screenshots from Brenna. Brenna. Christy, that's the one I just showed you. Tanana, is that, yeah, that's the Tanana. So there's all this in here. It's like, I said she's a bad bitch, that I'm proud of her for doing the right thing. Yeah, I mean, it takes 
lot of bravery to call out a police chief. Think about that. Think about that. You're calling out a police chief. Think about the power that this person has. Um, Three Dogs Mom, I will say again, the recent allegations against me in the Natalie Kennett declaration are false. I did not harass or ask anyone to harass Ms. Kennett, nor do I condone harassment of any kind, especially directed towards people with disabilities. We look forward to demonstrating this to the court. Thank you. All right. Then we have <laughs> Oh, they're making shirts. My ex-husband tried to Jason me. The real housewives of Jason. This is just wild. People sharing their own. Oh, and so here is his, he was arrested. He's also been posted on bail. Um, that's his mugshot for making that evidence. He was in uh, Hutchinson County Jail. He bought coffee makers for the ladies. That was like their gifts they both got. So yeah, it's this was another woman that he's claimed to be maybe involved with who also worked at the police station. So people are just like waiting. They're trying to wait, 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 wait to see if, you know, Netflix will make a video out of this. Kim says, sad thing is he'll have a new woman soon. He, who bailed him out? Exactly, who bailed him out? Who did bail him out? I'm here for the Netflix series. Me too. I am so here for the Netflix series. All right. So super glad to have you guys come here and um, we will keep following this story. Um, he wanted them to make coffee for the after show. He's the new bachelor. This is true. This is true. You need something new to watch on Netflix anyway. Correct. I wonder if he'll change his name and move to Canada. Has the entire world gone bananas? Maybe. Just think of all the women he might have overseas. I know, exactly. Katie, please don't have dreams of becoming his 87th wife. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine? I just wonder what's going through this guy's head that like thought he was going to get away with this. And these poor women, like he's almost like, seems like to be using this whole, like I'm a good Christian man as like a means to like lure people in, you know, like I'm so good at being a Christian. I'm the best Christian man ever. And it's like, you're literally not doing anything that's Christian like by having all these women. And you are a police chief. That's terrible. The yes, it has made people go bananas. All right, so there you go. Um, we will have everything in um, for those who are obsessed with internet drama because, you know, um, that's what matters, apparently. Um, there will be a response by us tomorrow, which we will respond to and show evidence for everything that we are saying tonight. And that's where this should be taking place, is in court. And I appreciate your support. And just remember, I don't send hate or harassment to anyone. Be kind to people online. And um, 
I will never, ever, ever support harassment or of anyone, especially people uh, with disabilities. So thank you guys so much for being here. Bye guys.